All right, I'll just start by saying, obviously, it was a great, great home victory. Um, thought our guys played the right way at both ends of the floor. That's something that we always want to do. We want to move the ball, share the ball. We had 15 assists. Um, and on defense, I thought our guys stuck to the game plan. Uh, we knew that they were very athletic, very good off the bounce, so we wanted to load up in the paint and uh, really shrink the court and force them to shoot outside shots. So for the most part, our guys did a really, really good job. And uh, the trade-off was playing small ball is – uh, they have some size and some guys that can jump, and they got 19 offensive rebound, which is not ideal. Uh, but the trade-off was we felt we can get out in the open court, and uh, when you have Ben and Isaac and Kobe and CJ, any one of those guys get a defensive rebound, can bust out with it. Uh, it's hard to contain, especially when we're clicking like we were tonight. How much did that spurt right before half really kind of kickstart what you guys were able to do in the second half? Tonight? Yeah, for the most part, we talk about the first four minutes of the first half, the last four minutes of the first half. And then uh, in the second, the second half, it's always four-minute segments. So definitely those last three, three and a half minutes, uh, we want to be highly efficient. And obviously Zion hits a big three. Uh, it was going back and forth, and they were actually at the free throw line, you know, cutting our lead in the almost single digits. Uh, so it was huge for us to, to go in up 13. Losing those uh, last three games, your team came in with a ton of energy. How did you keep your team motivated and <laughs> energized and happy to play like that? I think they has, they got some rest. Uh, they had Sunday off. Uh, you know, Monday, uh, it was more conscious of their legs. I think that has a lot to do with it this time of year. Uh, it's, it's about maintaining. Uh, it's about being sharp mentally and fit more mental than physical at this state of the, of the season. So uh, we, we monitor that closely and make sure that they are mentally uh, fresh just as much as they are physically. Kelly Webster, great game today. Always plays kind of flashy. Does he give you a heart attack at all? Kind of when you guys get up by a lot of points? Uh, when we're up a lo by a lot of points, no disrespect, but to answer your question, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> if it's a close game, I think he's tried that in a couple uh, close games, which I was not happy with. But I, tr I trust his instincts, uh, you know, all the players for the most part. And uh, he's one that has some style and flair to him. He's, just, he's still young now. And so. Yeah. Uh, he's only a sophomore, and he's played a lot of minutes, but for the most part, he has that flair in him. And we talked about that a little bit earlier today in shoot-around. We want to have some swag. Uh, we want to have some confidence. We want to be energized. We don't want to you know, be a jerk or anything like that. So they, they understand the difference between uh, having swag and, and, and confidence and, and being a jerk. So I thought he, he did a tremendous job with being uh, energized with his swag. <laughs> Coach, how much you mentioned playing with confidence? Like, uh, how much does a game like this, getting this on film, letting the guys see that when you do that, you can really just kind of, really teams can't play with yeah. you guys. How much does that help kind of tie into that saying, okay, hey, this is what we can do when, when we're, we're all about this. So let's keep that going and let's keep that attitude. Yeah, I think they understand that. I mean, we emphasize it's part of our core values back in June. And it, the difficult thing about it is. You talk about it, you watch it on film, you break it down, and you work on it. Until you get that victory, uh, it, it's hard. And we had some tough losses at Eastern, at UT Martin, uh, played one good half of basketball at Nebraska. So uh, we were a little bit fragile, you know, confidence-wise, and, and, uh, but we just kept working, got back in the lab, as we say, and that was, feels good to get you know, rewarded for the fruit of our labor. Where, where do you think you're at right now as far as rotation? Because so many new guys, so many new roles for other guys, and you're a lot deeper than you have in the last couple of years. Where do you feel you are right now as far as rotation and finding minutes for guys and finding that right combination of guys? Yeah, for the most part, I think you look at the eight or nine man rotation. We can go 10 sometimes, but I'm comfortable right now with nine in terms of the, get, having guys get in the flow, getting in the rhythm. Basketball's a game of rhythm. Um, and you look at Jeremiah, this is really his third game back. I, mean, I think UT Martin, he had a breakout game. Um, he struggled a little bit uh, with stiffness at uh, Nebraska and, and, and tonight. So we're still trying to work him back into where he's uh, completely uh, confident. And, and it takes a while. I mean, he sat out eight months, and uh, we're, we're not in no hurry, but he's got to shake some rust off to be consistent at both ends of the floor. What kind of lift is, is, has Ben given you? Because he's another guy with some size, but he can also step out and knock some shots down. And it seemed like you focus on him, and then Kobe was able to get in the lane in the first half, and early in the second half they were focusing on Kobe, and Ben goes out and he knocks down three straight threes, and you guys are off and running. And that's kind of the way the Summit League is built. Uh, four guys 
and in some instances, five guys that can really stretch the four and shoot the three-point line. And you look at who's won the last few years, that's kind of been the formula. I think we're built for that. Uh, ben gives us that extra component. Uh, in the past, we've always had a guy, uh, you look at Mike McCluzak, who can kind of be that stretch four. Uh, and, and now Ben's getting to the point where uh, he also knows other positions, which, which is what we experimented with a little bit tonight. Uh, and we can kind of look at matchups, and that's what kind of hurt them a little bit is, is Ben's now playing a three. And so we're, we're, you know, I didn't want to put too much on him too early as a freshman, but uh, that's something that uh, is a, a good luxury to have when you have a player like that who can play the three and the four. You mentioned versatile guys playing different positions. Was Isaac playing a little point tonight? It looked like he was kind of moving around a lot this evening. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, the, the thing is, uh, um, defensively, when we get a stop, uh, I, you know, they have the flexibility to bust out with it. So if he gets a defensive rebound, he can bust out with it. So you might have seen him bring it up from that respect because um, we trust all their instincts. You know, the, the goal is to get a defensive stop and bust out with it. And as long as we're not turning the ball over uh, and, and playing the right way, uh, we, we let them go. Coach, I noticed that, I mean, you talk about how you, you know, you want to bust out with it, you want to increase the pace of the game. But many times I saw you slow down the pace of the game, you know, hit that reset button. How hard is it to kind of find that combination of going fast and also hitting that reset button? It's not hard. It's uh, something, you know, I've been a point guard and understand time and score. And it's kind of what we're working with our young men is understanding time and score, time and situation. So the way we play is that it gives me that creative control to, to slow it down. If we had uh, two or three straight possessions where it's been one pass in the shot or no pass in the shot, then I can call something. And then a lot of times um, the quick hitter plays uh, it might sound like I'm calling something, but it's just a, a quick action to really expose the defense, particularly in transition, because it's hard to guard that stuff uh, in transition because the players are so interchangeable. Could you talk about uh, Brandon Gilbeck real quick? A big first half performance. He had five blocks, you know, his senior leadership, what he means to this team and his defensive play tonight. Yeah, another guy who, um, when he when he's – playing uh, a lot of minutes you know he's a force at both ends of the floor we need him in there and even the shots that he don't block he alters which is huge for our defense and our guys play with him enough to understand when he rotates over to block a shot or attempt to block a shot to rotate down and and that's when you look at 19 offensive rebounds it's kind of a direct result of that uh, even though he blocks it we still have to maintain the possession or he might miss it and we're giving up offensive rebound but uh, for the most part uh, we feel very very comfortable with his uh ability to, to, to block shots, but he's huge for us at both ends of the floor. No doubt about that. <laughs> to, to play a game like that, was that something you guys had talked about saying, hey, no drama, no excitement tonight, let's just go out there and let's just take care of business? Because that's what it looked like. You guys just looked very mm -hmm. calm and very prepared tonight. Uh, yeah, I would say so. I think after that Nebraska game, um, we took a lot of positives away from that second half that we played there um, and just tried to carry those over to this game. Coach challenged us a little bit after that game. Um, and like you said, it was a lot of fun to be on this side, the, win, the winning side, I guess. I mean, this is a night where everybody's shots were falling. I mean, what's that like to be involved when it's just like everything you guys are putting up, it seems like it's going down, and it doesn't matter who's taking that shot. Oh, it's amazing when you can just pass it to your teammate and know he's going to make it. Like, no matter who shoots it, whoever's open gets it. Definitely. Those challenges you talked about, Kobe, with that Coach Wright gave you, what were those? Um... Well, we pointed out some stuff at halftime of the Nebraska game, um, just making sure that we're all in, making sure that we um, continue to encourage each other, make sure we're staying together, staying tough. Um, and like I said, we did that in the second half of the game. We, um, I'm pretty sure we tied or lost by one in the second half alone. Um, so that kind of proved to us that we, we can play with top-notch players um, and teams. And so um, he challenged us by, by pointing out those things and making sure that we carry them over to this game and, and obviously next few. Closing out games has kind of been a problem for you guys. But that first half, was that kind of like a, I don't want to say exercising demons, but the way you guys really closed that first half, that really seemed to be kind of the shot that really kind of spurred you guys in the second half to really put them away. Yeah, we kind of um, stressed to uh, when we get up a little bit, don't slow down, don't let up. Kind of like, we kind of said like step on her neck, not literally, but you know, <laughs> say, finish them off. You scored 13 in the first 14 of the second half. Is that just some carryover from the first half going in? I don't want to say momentum, but Zion's shot really seemed to be a big exhale moment for you guys going into the locker room. Okay? Definitely. Um, we, like you said, we came out strong in the first half. We were playing team ball. It was moving. 
Um, everybody was hitting shots, and then that was just sort of the icing on the cake for the first half. Um, and like you said, it kind of helped us uh, spark a run in the second half. You have a bunch of offensive boards there in that first half. What were Coach Wright's thoughts on that at halftime? Oh, that was the main stress at halftime, was getting them off the boards. But we knew they were bigger than us um, in the four and five position, so we knew it would happen, but we tried to tame it as best as we could. And after the three games, it, how important was it to get the win tonight against the Division One opponent? Really big. Um, I'm pretty sure that's our first Division One win of the season. So um, it was really important for us to, to get back home uh, and get a, get a win in front of our fans and uh, carry it over into the rest of the season. Was tonight one of those nights where the defense spurred the offense, or was it the offense spurring the defense? Because it's as hot as you guys were, they were just as cold. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, for me, my experience is always that defense is first. Um, if you get stops, you know, Coach Wright says you, your defense can travel. You know, you can't, may not make all the shots you want to make. Um, you may have an off night offensively, but um, your defense travels. And tonight, I think when we got stops, we were able to get easy buckets and transition. And then um, I think that kind of discouraged them a little bit. And Kobe, you were having a lot of fun out there, obviously making the flashy plays. <laughs> And there was one play when you threw up a lob to Brandon Gilbeck and you went in with the layup. Were you a little disappointed you didn't slam it? No, nah, I think that one was on me. Um, I, <laughs> threw it, I threw it a little short. I should have put some more on it. I just wanted to make sure we got the bucket. But, no, nah, he did a good job of catching and finishing.